What's up? It's uh, it's me. It's me. SKD. You know, you know. Uh, today I'm gonna do a kind of like quick and dirty review of like the new Fighting Edge. Wow, such a pretty stick, right? So, uh, there's a couple things that I've you know had in mind, kind of like in using this stick. There are a couple of really good things and a couple of things that I guess I kind of am worried about, but you know, they haven't shown themselves to be problems yet. But uh, speaking from the kind of perspective of like a tournament goer and stuff like that, there's a couple things to keep in mind. So, you know, I'll bring that up. So uh, right off the bat, you know, looking at it, the body, whew, whew, damn. I would walk into a tournament and just be like, I just pull out the stick and just be like, whoo, whoo. And people would, you know, look at me and go, whoo, whoo. So, you know, it looks really, really nice. Uh, that's totally what you get if you're looking for this kind of thing. Before I got this stick, I looked it up and I had heard that some of the models had like the aluminum plate kind of loose. So it like jiggled around a bit, but I haven't had any of those issues. Uh, all the bolts are, you know, fastened completely. No problems there. Uh, build quality is like, you know, it's super sturdy. Uh, I definitely like that. The handles make it really nice on the side. It's got all the kind of functionalities that you'd want digitally. Uh, you got L3, R3. You've got an, even a button assignment option that I have no idea what I would use that for, but it's cool. You got the touchpad. So you've got all that good stuff. Um, you know, from the other perspective, we've got buttons and lever. So the lever, uh, you know, what you'd expect from a Hori stick, uh, pretty much you've got, I think it's the Hayabusa lever, I'm really not sure, and the buttons are definitely Hayabusa. Um, one thing, you know, the buttons look super nice, they've got the matte finish and stuff like that. Matte finish feels pretty nice. One thing that I do really like about the buttons is that they're very, very, very flush to the stick. So it feels pretty responsive, you know? Just because the point of contact for your finger and the actual like depression point of the button is like non-existent like you get what you're looking for pretty quick so i guess i'll kind of like show off what i'm talking about the lever um so the sleever is kind of loose right and it obviously like you can kind of see it like rebounding right if you look at my inputs, you can see that rebound. Obviously, you don't want to do that, but like sometimes I'll release the stick and I'll I feel like I'll get like the opposite input just from release, just like that. So, uh, I'm personally a bigger fan of like the Sanwa stick or Sanwa lever. My bad, but you know, it's nothing that you can't change about it because I guess you know, as I was saying from the experience of a like tournament goer. Levers, buttons, you could change, whatever. It's no problem. You're getting the stick because of like the body of the stick. So the body, premium. So as far as that goes, I'm pretty happy. I don't mind having to change the buttons and stuff. You know, you can see the stick back here. Wow, it's pretty heavy. Everything's changed. You know, my, my good friend Brian Tom lent me a stick for like five years. So one difference between the TE and this stick is that this stick has a headphone jack which is pretty important, especially if you're playing this game called Dragon Ball Fighter Z, where you'll play in tournament and there will be no headsets on your setup. So you can't react to Super Dash because there's no sound. And then they do Super Dash from off screen and you get hit by it. And you're like, why didn't I anti-air them or whatever? I, I didn't even know that they called their assist because I couldn't hear their assist. Well, now you've got a headphone jack and that is, I think, pretty important. Um. Other thing that the T2 has that this one doesn't have is detachable cable out the box, right? So one thing that kind of pissed me off, honestly, using the T2 was that I would have to like take out the cord every time. I have to like roll it up, put it in the box, I you know, put it inside and pop it open. So uh, by the way, yeah, the Hori Fighting Edge is not like, doesn't have like the pop top like that. So it's a little harder to switch your buttons and stuff, but I've been thinking about this a lot. I've had so many people have to kind of like switch sticks because their like wires are burning out, right? Or their wires are crapping out for whatever reason. 
So the Hori Fighting Edge does not have a detachable cable, which can be a plus or a minus because it's a pain in the ass. But when I think about longevity of like the stick and stuff like that, and like you know how good of a purchase is it? You may have to find some solution to deal with that down the line. So I've been kind of thinking about that. I really don't know what to do, but. You know, there are a lot of stick modders around and stuff like that if you're really interested in having this body because I think it is worth it and I will probably do that for this stick. I will, you know, figure out how to get like a detached cable going but like nowhere to store it is kind of a blow up because a lot of the new detached cables from like Jason's Customs and stuff are pretty thick. So yeah, I mean I don't even know if I could fit it inside the T2 but you know, that's something to keep in mind. Uh, aside from that... Uh, this is a first generation T2, so one thing that I do really like about this stick is that it is super responsive. Like, it's faster than the T2 feeling. It's definitely not just the buttons, but even if it was just the buttons, you still get that kind of like feeling of it being faster. Whatever gives you that kind of, you know, whatever does the job, right? So pretty much I would guess like the response time is a little... little Faster. So, I mean, I saw a couple of like tests regarding like the delay innate on the stick, and it's a uh, slightly slower than the Brooks. So that's pretty damn good, honestly. So I mean, you get it out the box, pretty usable. You know, the TE2 uh, first gen, pretty delayed. I could definitely feel it when I play, so you know this is a pretty welcome change. I totally didn't mention this picture of Kanye that I have right here. Uh, my webcam doesn't fill the whole aspect ratio, so I had to do that. But you know, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, you know, pretty much those are kind of like the main points that I kind of had about the stick. I really appreciate the kind of like you know, the build quality, because to me, what separates this stick from another stick is the build regardless of the buttons and the lever. So I think that stuff is perfect. Uh, you know, it's got like a tournament lock switch and everything. It's got all the buttons that you'd need. Um, you know, as far as that goes, but I'm a little concerned about the wire. All right, so the wire, and I guess the parts not being to my liking out the box, I would say, if you wanted me to rate this stick, I would give this a somewhere between an 8.75 and a 9 out of 10 because the build quality is so good, right? I'm gonna play this dude. I got no clue. I'm gonna just wail on some buttons. Rui Omoy. I got no idea what the connection is, but if you want to hear some stick ASMR, I hope he accepts the match, but honestly, it looks like he's AFK, so I'm gonna wrap this up here. Product is really good, you know, shout out to Hori for sending this to me. I'm really gonna use this long term, but I really want to try to figure out what I could do with the wiring and definitely swap the lever. But you know, aside from that, everything's perfect, got the headphone jack, all the stuff that you can change. Well, all the stuff that needs to be changed, in my opinion, can be pretty easily changed. So, you know what? That's it. Uh, you know, this guy sleeping at the wheel. All right. You know, thank you for watching. If you actually managed to sit through all nine minutes of this. Oh, my goodness. So, yep. One more last look at the stick. Do you love Lisa? Not anymore. I see. All right. Thank you.